A former Guantanamo Bay prisoner who trained with al-Qaeda in Afghanistan has lodged an appeal against the conviction for terrorism handed down to him by a U.S. military court. Dubbed the Aussie Taliban, David Hicks pleaded guilty in March 2007 to providing material support for terrorism but has vowed to clear his name, saying that the guilty plea was made under pressure after more than five years at Guantanamo. There are two points of importance within this appeal. The first is that I was detained for an inexcusable five and a half years, or six years including here in Australia as well, without my having committed an offence, and secondly, that I was tortured throughout that period. This included physical beatings, a number of psychological methods and medical experimentation. In the appeal, Hicks's lawyer hopes to use the example of Salim Hamdan, a former driver for Osama bin Laden. In Hamdan's case, the court ruled that material support for terrorism did not meet the criteria of war crimes that could be prosecuted by the military commission. Hamdan's conviction was overturned and doubt had been cast on at least three other military commission convictions. Is that the charge of providing material support for terrorism simply does not exist in international law. And we've known all along that that is the case, but it was part of the deal that David had to do to get out of Guantanamo Bay. The 38-year-old Hicks, who has admitted to attending a paramilitary camp in Afghanistan and joining the Taliban, is married and works in the plant nursery business in Sydney. Yes, I can. Can you guys can hear me? Yes, we're getting the pictures now.